today we're going to talk about engine timing uh, on an M276 engine Mercedes Benz. Again, it's an engine timing uh, explaining how the timing mark works uh, on an M276. It's a six cylinder engine. Uh, and this car is a 2012 ML350. This six cylinder engine is, is in a lot of the other Mercedes Benz as well. You'll find this. Uh, the designation for that engine, again, it's M276. I checked online. I don't see uh, a lot of information on this specific engine. Uh, we're gonna start by, this is the tool that, that uh, holds the camshaft down. So when you open the valve cover on either bank, you have to have this tool to uh, secure the camshaft. The bolts should be slightly loose so the camshaft can rotate when you're trying to time the engine. On this specific car, uh, we're doing, we're replacing a timing chain and also it, uh, it has a complaint for a rattling noise. Uh, the rattling noise will come from this. The reason that this engine rattles is because there's a check valve over here in this hole uh that, that needs to be installed uh i will uh put the part number on the description um you can get that check valve uh, to mercedes benz this is where the tensioner goes and this hole will matches the hole that's an oil supply hole for the uh chain tensioner and what it does because this valve is missing and there's no valve here uh the, the it loses the oil pressure and it causes the rattling noise by putting a one-way valve here which is pretty simple you put the valve in here and you press it in as long as it stays flush with the you know with uh with this uh cylinder head then um that's how it's going to be installed um that will take care of the rattling noise but the rattling noise can also be because of a loose timing chain so we are replacing the timing chain in which in this case we are disconnecting and drawing a chain into the engine and out so this is the chain instead of removing the entire uh, you know uh, front cover uh, what we do using uh, a tool that disconnects and connects the timing chain which is here uh, with this set um, you can disconnect the chain lock the chain and I'll show you briefly how it works So this is the chain. You use this tool, which is like that, to push the pin out, which the pin is gonna come out of this hole. Stay. There you go. So the pin is gonna come out of this hole. Once you open the chain on the car, then you connect this chain using one of these pins to the original chain, like so. And once it attaches to the original chain inside the car, then you start rotating the engine. Like that. So you connect this to the actual chain once you open the chain and you start rotating the engine until you get the other end of the chain. And then with the new kit, this is what will come in with the new kit that's gonna have the actual pin that's going to be pressed into the chain and then you close the chain and then you time the engine and this is the other tool that's being used to compress the chain the chain sits here like that and then you put the proper fitting um, the reason i i'm not putting this right now because each engine has is different that kit uh applies for three different engines but you put this and then you press um, uh, you press the pins, you know, like the original pins, and that's how you uh, replace the engine, uh, replace the chain, I'm sorry. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the, the marking on the timing, because what I notice is that uh, a lot of, uh, I didn't see any information indicating the difference between the uh, timing marking. So this engine, is 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 on a set and base timing when it's at 40 degree after top dead center 40 degree after top dead center means the piston is all the way uh, cylinder one 
piston is all the way to the top and it starts going down 40 degree after top to center. So the marking on M276 is actually um, is on the crankshaft, which you can see this 40. And there's a little edge, which I'm touching right here. And as long as this edge matches this 40, and then your timing mark on the cam adjusters will be will pointing up and here and here now what you won't find on YouTube is no one explains because you could set those and it did you know a completely 360 degree uh, backward um, is that if you rotate this and you see the marking of 40 and you match it with this you might have these pins pointing downwards like like this which this is wrong because you also have timing on the actual camshaft on the back of the camshaft so you have this marking is it clear so you have this marking here on the backing plate, okay, of the cam. And then you have these markings on the actual camshaft. These. Okay. And then once you remove it, once you remove the adjuster, there's another marking for the plate and the camshaft. That's the other thing that you won't find on the internet. I don't have this out. I wish I would have had it out so I could show you, but there's a laser mark that indicates whether this plate has has shifted or not. Because if it does shift, then you still have and get a timing code uh, thinking that the engine's time, but this plate is off. So you could do your timing perfectly, but then it still throws a fault code for the, you know, for the timing. So there's a laser marking. Once you remove the adjuster, there's a laser marking uh, for the uh, camshaft and the camshaft plate because they're pressed in to the camshaft. So we have this marking in the back of the camshaft. We have one in the front. M276 is time when it's at 40 degree here and the marking are pointing upwards like so. And where is... I'm trying to show you what it looks like from the back of the time shaft. So, um, once we bring this to 40 degree, the camshaft adjuster marking are pointing upwards. Then if you look at the back of the cam, the marking that I showed you earlier on the backing plate are going to be on the outside edge and will be flush with the cylinder head. So this marking will be flush with the cylinder head on, on that side. And this marking right here will be flush with the cylinder head on this side. Okay. So, and the way to check, you know, to check and, and see if the engine is time and the difference between M276, M57, and uh, M157, and M278. The difference between uh, M276 and the other engines is that when it's, if you rotate the engine to 53 degree, then your camshaft, um, 53 degree, right here, if you match and, and align this 53 degree with this, uh, with this edge, okay, then your plate on the back of the camshaft which is these ones, these small ones, are gonna be aligned with the camshaft position sensors. This is what you won't find. This is what no one's explained. So at 53 degree, okay, these little, these uh, a smaller part of the plate will line up with the hole on the camshaft uh, position sensor at 53. So 
it's very important that this engine is the, 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 is being timed when it's at 40 degree aligning with this edge the marking on the camshaft are pointing pointing upwards and the marking on the plate will be flushed with with the cylinder head at the very back of the um, plate right there it might be hard to see a little bit but I will sh I will show you one I'm gonna put this camshaft in and you can see it better so if I were to put if I were to put this uh, camshaft on a sp uh, basic position then this is the marking I'm looking for and I would put this marking and this should be aligned with the outside edge of the camshaft. So this is how it would look like. Uh, look at that. It's aligned with the camshaft and the camshaft is in a, in, is in a rest position. Like it's resting on the cylinder head. I uh, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Uh, again, this, is, this engine is M257 and I wanted to explain how the marking uh, are going to be and where it needs to be set in order to time this engine uh, properly. Don't forget about the check valve. If it's missing, you need a check valve. That will take care of the rattling noise and, uh, and I'll show you the tools that you need Thank you very much and good luck to you all. Um, I decided to also um, uh, show you what it looks like uh, as far as the instruction on the, uh, you know, on the PDF that's provided uh, to Mercedes Benz. So this is a tool which is identical to this. This is what you use to uh, remove the pin from the chain and then you connect it to the new chain, which is, you know, which is this. And the new chain comes with its own kit to where once you connect both ends like this um, you can rivet you can rivet the chain um, afterward once it's installed and then you install a new tensioner and also the uh, check valve but this is how um, you set you put the other chain in and then you rotate the engine you get the other end out and then you connect the chain together using this pin, that's how it's looked like. And then you rivet it with the tool. Um, so that's one. The other thing I wanted to show is this, the timing marks uh, that I was saying, you could you could see them through the valve cover um, and to the whole of the uh, camshaft timing sensor, the, the camshaft position sensor is this. So when you rotate the engine um, to 53 degree on an M276, uh, once you uh, align your 53 degree marking with the camshaft, then this is what you would see. The plates are gonna, these uh, smaller edge of the plates will point upwards, you know, and you could see them through the hole and that shows, and that's what basically shows the position. And that's how the sensor, um, you know, recognize the position of the camshaft. Um, that's one, I already showed you the timing chain. And this is just a riveting tool. Um, again, you would need that. If you're replacing the entire chain, that's different. But again, the reason I wanted to make this video to show that the marking on M276 should point upward and uh, the marking behind the uh, uh, camshaft plate. Uh, let me see. There you go. So once you um, once you rotate the engine to 40 degree after top dead center, these lines that these markings that I was showing you in the back of the camshaft timing plate should point and be should point outward and be flush with the cylinder head, as you can see right here. I highlight them so you guys can 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 see this better. Um, but 
this is how uh, this engine and the marking should align um, you know with everything and that's how you can tell if the engine is time thank you